Hello everybody, this is Steven Job with Constellix. I'm really excited to show you another real popular support ticket we have is how to create simple failover within the Constellix platform. So this is something I'm going to set up real quickly. This involves using two of our most popular applications is the DNS uh, Constellix application and the Sonar monitoring application. We have to create the checks inside of Sonar and then we're going to tie them into our failover configuration. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go into our Sonar application and I want to create the, the basic checks that we need. So what I've done already is I have uh, three different DPSs um, running and I'm going to grab these IPs and on each one of these boxes, as you can see, uh, I have uh, NGINX running on them. So that would be port 80 to be monitored and make it nice and easy. So I'm going to grab these IPs and these are just um, digital ocean droplets I'm using for testing. Um, and for our demonstration. So I'm going to add just a basic, I could do a web check, I'm going to do a basic TCP check and make it nice and simple. So I'm going to call it uh, system1 and I'm going to put the IP address in there and I'm going to monitor port 80 and I'm going to do a 30 second interval. Uh, I'm going to check from uh, multiple locations at one time. Uh, the verification policy is simple. Uh, simple meaning that as long as one of the locations thinks it's down, uh, it will automatically uh, verify it from the next closest location and then we'll consider it down. The majority means that you need a majority of the, the monitoring, the check nodes to say it's down up to seven. So let's say if you had uh, 10, 10 locations you're monitoring from, it would need to be down from at least five of them. Uh, if you're monitoring from more than 14 though, it, the cap is at seven. Um, so it would need to say at least seven locations are down. We found that's what the best use case as we um, asked all of our users. So I'm going to do a 30 second interval, uh, make it simultaneous. Uh, notification report is an email that's sent to us. Um, this will tell you how, how long you want this notification report to be publicly available and you can forward to other people. And uh, this will give you my check node. So I'm going to check everywhere uh, within North America here um, from all these different locations. Uh, and I'll also I'll put you up as well. So I'm going to do all that and close this. Uh, this tells me who I would like to uh, contact in case there is any up or down uh, notifications. Uh, I'm just going to save this. I can actually run a quick check to make sure that it is up and it is running. So that's good. So let me save this. All right. Uh, so that's my first one. Um, now what I want to do here to make things a little bit simpler, I can just click clone and now I'm going to say uh, system two. And then we grab my second IP and the third IP, and it's going to be a lot quicker. I don't have to enter all the same information all over again. Uh, so we grab this IP address, uh, which is the second one here. I'm going to click this here. Once again, it's always good to just verify it's working. Uh, yes, it is. Um, so I'm going to end this. I'm going to put it on the system. Third IP. Make sure everything looks good. Yep, everything's testing out well. Let me save this as well. All right, so as you can see, I just added three quick checks within Sonar, each in their monitoring um, every 30 seconds. I'm going to turn them on now. Um, so they can actually start gathering the data uh, and start doing the up and down alerts if we need to as we turn the systems up and down. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go into my server.us and I, what I want to do is uh, look at all my records here uh, once they load up. And so what I want to do is I'm going to do this for my www record. Um, we're actually going to create another record um, that we can do a, a test on. So we're going to call it failover. Okay, now what I want to put in here is the IP addresses of my system. So first I want to switch to a uh, failover configuration. And I want to go to these IPs again. And I want to put them in here. So this is my first IP. And I'm going to put in the IP address of my second IP. And 
and the third IP. And this is the third IP. And now I'm going to go to sonar check. It is going to um, bring in the checks that match that IP address. So this is important to know. You need to have the exact same IP addresses in here as you're monitoring in sonar. Obviously, if you're doing a C name failover or an A name failover, it would need to be the same fully qualified domain name um, in both of the systems. All right, so we have a basic failover. And uh, normal means it's always going to try to get to the lowest level. It's always going to try to go back to one. So once is, uh, if two, if one goes down, it's going to go to two. Once one comes back, it goes back to one. The off on any failover event means as soon as we go down the chain, uh, the failover will automatically turn itself off. And one way means that um, if one goes down, it fails over to two. But if one comes back, it won't go back to one. But if two goes down, it will go down to three. That means we're always going to be moving down the, the, the chain. So those are the three different types of failover uh, for basic failover services that Constellix supports. And then obviously we have a whole bunch of extra um, configurations within our pools, uh, which would be another video entirely. But if you ever need to do weighted round robining or sharing or ITO, which is internet traffic optimization or anything like that, where you're starting to do which is the best performance or you want it to weight the systems differently, that's what you need to have pools for. Uh, we have another option here, which is round robin with failover. So if you want to return all of the IPs all the time and just take them out as they fail, then you would choose round robin with failover. So you put all the systems in here, and as if one went down, it'd be taken out of the, uh, of the round robin, and all the rest would be shown. Uh, but for this one, we're going to do a, a, a basic failover. Only one IP is going to be returned at a time. And I'm going to do save and close. You get that configured in the system. And then I'm going to apply this. All right. So this is now applying the changes on all thousands of name servers that Constellix has around the world. Uh, that's been pushed through. And you can see, um, you put your mouse over it, the asterisk actually uh, uh, depicts which is the current IP that's being shown um, for this record. So you can see I have the failover record, which is showing the 159, 203, 178, 171. Uh, if I was to make a query to any of the main servers, if I do a dig on failover.server.us, and then say if I uh, was to use a, uh, uh, a Google name server, um, Google DNS name server, you'll see it's the, the correct IP address. Uh, I have a 60 second TTI in there, right? Uh, and the same thing if I was to query uh, a Constellix name server directly. You see, I'm getting the, the 159 address. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm on this box and I'm going to turn off uh, the going to my sonar. Uh, I'm going to click refresh here to make sure I'm seeing this uh, updated information and everything. Everything is currently showing up. If you click here on our snapshots, you're going to clean that, see that we're getting a, a response time for all the different locations that I'm monitoring from. And I'm doing this every, uh, getting these checks every 30 seconds from all the locations. Um, so it's pretty accurate. It's going to be updated pretty quickly. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go turn down uh, the Nginx, my, my web server, uh, on one of these boxes real quickly. And so all you can see is I go back to Sonar, you're automatically going to see the status went to down. Uh, and when that happens, what it happens is it automatically notifies our control panel. It will send us an email if I had that contact group put in. And then also it's going to integrate perfectly with the, the DNS uh, piece. So as you see here now, um, when I refresh the screen and you're going to look at what my current IP address is, you're going to see that uh, when it shows up, you're going to see the second IP address is actually going to be used here. Uh, and if I make a query to uh, my name, see the 162, and you see the asterisk is on the 162. Uh, and if I go down here to uh, my box, and if I query the name server directly, you see I see the 162. Uh, likewise, if I query the, the Google uh, DNS IP, you see it's at 162. Um, and it, it, it works the same way. And if I brought and if I, now, if I bring down the second IP, remember we said we were going to go to one, the two, the three. So if I bring down Nginx here, if 
I go to Sonar, you're going to see this is now down. Uh, and now the IP address should be going to 37.139.27.68. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go straight to my terminal um, and go back to my queries. Uh, if I query the name server directly, you see um, at 37.139.27.68. So this shows you exactly how fast the failovers happen, how easy is it to set up. Um, this is an A record failover. Failover options in Constellix can be done with an A record, can be done with a quad A record, obviously over IPv6. Uh, and then we also have a C name failover, um, which takes a fully qualified domain name. And then an A name failover, which also takes a fully qualified domain name. The A name, of course, is the, the Constellix version of a, a, C9, a C name turned into an A record. So what we do on our Constellix nodes all around the world is that we actually make the query in real time, we find out the IP address, and then we return that as an A record for you. So there, that's a real quick overview and tutorial on how failover is implemented in Constellix. And if you have any questions, feel free to open a support ticket and let us know. Once again, this is Stephen Joke with Constellix, and we look forward and we thank you for using the Constellix services. You have a wonderful day.